fire seat was primarily down in the bottom left corner of the picture uh, next to the newly installed wood heater but it was nothing to do with the wood heater um, what I'd set up right in the center of the picture there where you can see the burnt skirting board was a 15 volt plug pack from an old laptop it was feeding into a bank of 36 cells of um, lithium ion batteries and they were 3 in series and 12 in parallel and the 3 in series means that they should not ever have been charged above 12.6 volts um, unfortunately when you're charging them with a 15 volt charger uh, that um, needs a manual disconnect when you reach the target voltage or when the batteries start getting a little bit warm anyway I went out for three hours to a book launch in Essendon because this is in Flemington um, by bike and when I got back uh, it appears that the batteries had already exploded and set fire to this room in at least two places so the primary seat of fire was here and it was burning uh, and producing an awful lot of black smoke and it, it, it burnt the entire casing of a 12 volt lead acid battery that was sitting next to it um, but that was not connected to anything at the time there's an, an area of um, burnt carpet there which has been cut away so you can see the fresh cut edge of the carpet and the, the flame, uh, the, the, there's evidence of uh, heat damage to the particle board underneath um, for that area that you see. The bottom half of the area you see there is particle board, the top half is uh, concrete basically and there are some old vinyl tiles there as well. The um, lithium ion batteries exploded and some scattered across the room and one of them was hot enough when it got over here and I'll shut that back door actually because it was it was shut it was shut at the time one of the hot batteries one of the hot cells flew like a rocket across the room and probably had flame coming out the end as, as it went uh, or when it landed and um, set fire to what was there a, a very uh, combustible fuel which happened to be a, a flimsy plastic bag full of my collection a large collection of adhesive tapes of various sorts and um, the only thing that survived that um, was an ancient piece of gummed craft paper in a roll with a wooden um, bobbin inside and the fire investigators asked me well what's that and then I recognized that it was the bag of adhesive tapes that had gone gone off uh, in fact, in there as well, for some strange reason, I had some copper, scrap copper wire which in with the adhesive tapes, which was, I think, something I was intending to send to recycling. When I started cleaning up the kitchen yesterday, I found something very interesting. So I, I'm, I'm now going to show you what happened. I found in the kitchen, on the range hood, behind a wash-up bucket, a very dirty wash-up bucket, by the way, um, I found an empty uh, casing of a lithium ion cell. So from here I believe that the cell uh, went like a rocket and flew across the room, uh, hit the cupboards up there, which I've got in centre of picture now, uh, before they had uh, um, smoke stains on them perhaps, well definitely before the smoke stains were there, and I can't see any, any impact mark at all. But uh, somewhere there, I believe, there was an impact and it bounced over here to the top of the range hood. Uh, the uh, wash-up bucket has been used and is mostly clean inside, but you can see on top, it's still very sooty because the soot has got in, the smoke damage has got into everything because all the doors were open internally, unfortunately. And you can see it was sitting there because uh, there's that mark. Of... And when I did pick this up in order to start my cleanup, if I can zoom out again, um, what happened was I lifted this up and something was dangling from this corner of the uh, wash up bucket. And I didn't recognize it at first but it's actually left a scorch mark here 
as well and it was dangling I've since removed it uh, well whilst I was looking at it I guess I pulled it off before I realized what it was um, so it scorched the uh, the plastic but thank goodness it didn't set alight a third seat of fire over here um, and if you can see it here here is the empty casing of a lithium ion cell it's too so not sure you can see down in there but it's very light um, and uh, seems to have gone like a rocket across the room and the only right way it could have landed here was what about by bouncing off those cupboards still hot enough to, to to stick to the plastic bucket and to scorch the plastic bucket so when I click pick the plastic bucket up it was uh, adherent and dangling and sort of waggling a little bit so um, by some dags that were sort of um, ejected out of the aperture uh, at the positive end of the battery so I think that's all I want to say uh, I've started the cleanup as you can see that's a clean bit of um, melamine and that's the dirty stuff above it with a picture of me and the wind, wind turbine um, anyway there's an awful lot of crap here here's a fairly typical example of the thickness of the soot in this kitchen so many meters from the seat of the fire uh, that's a thermos with a sort of custom made insulating lid on it but that, that is a thermos um, and I moved it a little bit at some stage and you can see the clean bench top underneath it uh, just about everything else in the whole house is covered with black dust about that thick so don't charge lithium ion batteries without a proper charger I guess is or don't forget to don't go out and leave these sort of batteries on charge um, uh, for a manual you know waiting for a manual disconnect because they can explode and they can go like rockets and they can set your house alight okay thank you